You are me arties and welcome to my treasure island. Let's attack. I can't keep this up. My voice is going. Welcome builders. Andy is your here. Welcome back to another tutorial. This time for a little pirate shack. I love this design. It looks all ramshackle, higgledy piggledy blocks all over the place willy nilly and more silly phrases like that. For some reason we have three Captain Sparrows. Thank you guys for helping me film this. This is a tutorial for a pirate shack in Minecraft. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, and leave some nice feedback in the comments. So let's get this built. I've got the Andy Yoda 5x5 building system grid laid out there, and we can build this. Quick look inside, plenty of room. Could be a starter, survival base, and then round here at the back, we've also got a ladder, which goes all the way up to this level, more storage, and then this level, and then you can even keep on going up to the level uh, above that. Anyway, here are the ingredients. So we're going to start with the basic structure, then move on to the tower at the top, that one up there, and then we're going to do the roof, then we're going to add details, and then we're going to add more details. The secret is the details. Let's clear the inventory, grab some ingredients. So we're going to need today a uh, jungle door. By the way, here are here is a complete list of all the ingredients. If you wish them, you could pause the screen right there and make note of them if you're building in survival. And here's spruce fence, dark oak logs, dark oak stairs, slabs, you know, birch, stairs, birch planks, and a Trapidorus maximus sprucius is the one you want this time. Okay, so five by five grid here, three blocks in between, and we're gonna build these up like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, absolutely everywhere. Doesn't take long. And I'll hold the camera above it and you can kind of see and count how many we've done. I guess it's four in a row, then four in a row, and then four in a row. And then we've got three at the front row like that. And that completes there. Pretty good so far. Uh, what you're gonna do is grab the dark oak stairs and these are gonna go pretty much everywhere on every inside surface that you've got them and that needs to go absolutely everywhere be right back when that is done and once that's done put your choice of slabs whatever wood you want in between hey if you haven't already please take a moment to subscribe to the channel uh, original content like this does take a long time to produce and it's with your support that i can continue thank you very much once that is done we're going to go one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these here. These all need to be four blocks high. Uh, make some cross pieces. And I guess while we're here, we'll just put on kind of an upper floor. If you want, you don't have to do this. I don't think I did this completely. You definitely want it on this back corner. I don't think I did it on that one over there, but this back corner, you definitely want it. And we're gonna leave that gap there, which is gonna be where the, what do you call it? <laughs> it's gonna be where the thing goes. I can't remember what it is. Oh, the stair, the ladders, ladders, that's it. Grab some beautiful, beautiful bright birch it uh contrasts really nicely to the dark oak i think it's a beautiful combination so we have this all around the back like that and we can also go inside here as well where we're going to have a little doorway in there and then this one's going to be a little window also i'm going to put the door in right uh, there as it turns out uh, we'll also have a door, I did say, right back there. Great stuff. And then we can put some windows in, which as well are just going to be, not glass, just going to be, it's a very tropical environment, so there's going to be some spruce fence right there. Okay, back to dark oak logs. As you can see, we're going to do that upper section just there. One, two, three, four again. Using the Andy Zoda 5x5 building system, you quickly get the foundations of any build done, and it's up to you to make it look better and more interesting than it does right now. Kind of looks kind of weird and boring so far. Right, uh, we can also have a little look at the front of this here. 
and on the front of this here I'm actually going to put down some spruce trap doors to make a little 2x2 two two walkway and that's what I mean by when you divert from the 5x5 five five system the rest of the 5x5 five five build looks great so this is not on the system because I'm only going by two blocks instead of the normal three but it just looks good like a little addition 7x7 seven seven additions any little addition you want just looks great so that is that done there excellent progress so far I think we're done with all those ingredients let's go for the next one which is going to be for the tower so we need some jungle fence some ladders a spruce trapdoor your choice of black a choice of any banner we've gone for kind of a piratey banner this being a pirate build and all that sort of stuff um, I just noticed that sh these should definitely be like that wonder why it wasn't anyway let's put them on uh, oh first of all we're gonna put on our little platform here so you can use trap doors or you can use slabs like I've done across on that one there um, by the way we do have some birch to put in as well so let, let's just put that birch in while we're thinking about it this one stays complete this one's gonna have a window this one's gonna have a door there's a door and this one's going to be completely complete as well with no gaps there we go so we are ready to do the tower now what you can do is grab some jungle fence we're going to go one two three four in all the corners boom easy peasy easy peasy and then we're going to ring this round here bring this round here like this Boom, boom, oops, come on, more fingers and thumbs. We're going to make a little gap here because this is where we're going to have the um, the trap doors come up. Oh, it's actually on this side over here. We're going to have these trap doors come up like this until we get to the top. And that's what we're going to put the ladder on. The ladder should go all the way down here, right down to the bottom of the build. So you can get quickly up to this level if you want and you've probably got some storage in here as well but we're gonna leave that until we've got the roof on and then this comes up and then you can keep on coming up to changing the direction of the ladder whoa like that there we go cool uh, this bit here I think I think just sort of sits nicely when you do that and that gap there gets sealed in right up here we're gonna go for more uh, spruce trapdoor this time it's gonna sit right on top And I think I've covered up the corners and I didn't want to cover up the corners, did I? That's going to be a gap. Yeah, we left the corners like this, like this, like this. It just makes it look a bit more higgledy-piggledy, a bit more rough and ready, a bit more like a pirate's base with any old bit of wood, any old flotsam and jetsam and uh, <clears throat> any sort of harvested cut-down wood would do. But there you go. That is the tower. Oh, we can just quickly put on... I'm not sure the pirates are... Big fans of health and safety, but you could do that anyway. Stop me falling off. Oh, around this bit as well. There we go. Great. And then obviously you could put details like chests and things up here as well. When we come to the chests level or the, the details level, you could put them up there like that. Great. Good progress so far. Let's clear the inventory. Move on to the next stage, which is already actually we're on to the roof. Here it is here, the roof, which is dark oak stairs and dark oak slabs. We're also going to need to grab some fungal gensies and these are going to go one two three one two three with some slabs on top and that starts us off on our roof project what we do want to do is kind of aim to get to this level with the roof with it sticking out by one so stick it out by one like that we're going to end the roof here so how do we do this we come down by one more level then we go boom boom like that boom like that don't do that one then we're going to come up again another level and then to sink it down again at the ends like that cool huh it's easy how it works that goes up like that boom and again one two bring it across like that so what we have is an an upper slab and a lower slab it's exactly what we have uh, going on 
mostly everywhere. So here we go. Lower slab, upper slab, upper and lower. It's always upper and lower slabs. There we go. And it should end up like that in the middle. Then we just keep on coming down. Again, always making it look like it's a full block. This one can keep on going all the way to the back. And when we overlap it at the back as well. We'll come back to the back in a minute. If that makes sense. Let's bring it to there. Uh, we've got to go to this level now. And then round here, make sure you've come under there like that. So it should be looking like that so far. Kind of off-centered, which I like. Don't want these pirate builds, these pirate shacks to look too... To, to look, just we don't want them looking too good as well. Again, that comes down, that comes down, and that comes down. It should look like a full block. It should look like a full block, but we know it's an upper and a lower slab. Secrets of Slab Roofs with Andy Isyoda. And then that one comes sticking out like that, 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 and that. Perfect. Fill in this little gap in there. Don't forget to put some spruce fence in there. Um, around the front here, we could bring this up like that, and also this one in the corner, and then add in some dark, some birch planks right there. Now the roof isn't completely done; it's too perfect. So what you got to do? is mess this roof up have things hanging down like that um things sticking up like that sticking up maybe turned there like that and then maybe that one's going to stick up oh has to be that one that sticks up like that and keep on going keep on adding these in all sorts of different directions and combinations just make it up doesn't need to be exact as me that and you could even have some holes in the roof as well it doesn't look too bad there we go I like this already awesome make it higgledy piggledy that is your job today let's do that one round like that love it okay roof is actually complete now we're on to details already so we're going to grab <clears throat> smithing table ocus trapidorus maximus uh, some spruce and jungle fences, spruce trapdoor, scaffolding, barrels, and some chests. Now let's have a look and see where I've put all the barrels and chests. Oh, I remember it right. So we've got some chests in there, then some kind of fencing wrapping round. Changing colour is quite good with the fence, just making it look again as if the wood has come from not one particular source. Barrels we could put here, oops, like that. They look okay, kind of in that corner. And again, mix up your fences, couple of spruces, couple of jungles, same round here. Spruce. And then I'm gonna put some more barrels, kind of just higgledy pickledy sitting there. Now for these um, door areas, what I'm gonna do is just build it all up completely. Oh, not them with trapdoors and then go hmm, which one shall I <laughs> which one shall I replace I'm gonna replace these two and this one and that's all I did and then just scatter a few of these about the place as well make it look weathered and kind of improvised as well it's an improvised shack look is what you're going for I'm gonna replace this one and then these two, I think that looks okay. Uh, yeah, so just go ahead and have some fun. Often looks quite good when you start to group these like that. Maybe one there, one there, kind of just covering over that connected textures. That would go there, maybe wrapping around like that. We have one there. Oh, we've forgotten a door. Let's grab a door while we're at it. Add a few of these more. Oh, you can put them on the roof as well. They look actually pretty good on the roof, especially when you've got maybe a bit of a gap as well but they look pretty good on the roof and that's gonna make it up as you go along that's what I like about this build no set rules about where to place a lot of these blocks okay let's keep going we can definitely add a few more 
looking like that. Sort of break up some of these connected textures when you have two textures the same together. You can just break them up like that. It just instantly looks a whole heap better. We could put on some scaffolding as well. It looks like maybe lobster crates or something you might have as someone who lives by the sea. There we go. Excellent job. Right, let's clear the inventory and add on the last few touches. So I've got some dead brainy coral fan, dead horny coral fan, some pea sickles. I've got vines, skeleton skull, more trap doors. Obviously you want lanterns. Uh, make sure you've got enough doors everywhere and some bone stuttons. So I'm going to put these buttons around here. Do, 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 As if the wood has been kind of nailed together. I'm going to leave it off, <clears throat> excuse me, on the front. Maybe add one right there for just a little bit of an effect there. That looks pretty good. Uh, what is next? <clears throat> excuse me, skeleton skull could go here. Uh, sea pickles looks like kind of fungus. So we love scattering the fungus on this build like that. And of course your dead horny coral fans look quite good on the roof as if you've got kind of horrible big groups of lichen or fungus growing off this build and but of course as fans sticking out the side and don't forget the the other kind you've got dead brainy dead fiery dead chuby all sorts of different corals looks like bracket fungus growing on the woods of course you don't get much of this when you buy wood from the hardware store because the wood has been treated <clears throat> but any wood just kind of harvested um and not left too much out in the sun would start to rot as well. You get lots of bracket fungus. Scatter your vines as well. Like that. Add them in everywhere. They really make this place look kind of dark and damp and um, as if it's beside the sea. So that looks pretty good. Got a few of them everywhere. Loving that. Can we put them on that one? I don't think we can put them on those. Nope. What is next? Oh, a lantern could go, I think we can put a lantern in there. Excellent. Um, is that it? Are we done? I think we're probably, oh no, we've got a little, ah, I forgot something. We've got a little balcony to do back here. So I'm going to bring that across kind of at that level. I'm going to just pop that up there and then we're going to go at the door level like that little balcony I love this balcony at the back isn't that cute I love that so atmospheric you can go in here you could also if you open up maybe this one you've got some storage space in the attic as well so you're gonna have some extra chests up in there and of course you can go down here into your build as well it's a great little design you could maybe adapt this design so it doesn't look like a pirate um, uh, house. It could be any sort of starter survival house in Minecraft. I love this design. I love the sloping roof. I love how ramshackle it looks as well. Hopefully you do too as well. Leave some nice kind feedback or constructive feedback in the comments and I will see you in the video very very soon indeed. Take care for now. Ciao ciao with the blocks. Be with you.